welcome to my easy statistics in this session we will be discussing about Wilcoxon sign rank test in SPSS Wilcoxon sign rank test is applied when we have paid sample that is two sample which involve repeated measure matched pair or before and after measures that is why Wilcoxon sign rank test is also called as Wilcoxon matched pair test Wilcoxon sign rank test is a non parametric test where the data can be ordinal data or data can be interval data but if the data is interval the data should be non normal distributed or the data should not be normal distributed in case if the data is normally distributed and you want to compare between pair values we use t test if the data is interval and the data is not normally distributed then only use this non parametric test which is called as Wilcoxon sign rank test I'll explain this with the help of an example I have 10 employees in this case and I have recorded the values of the employee score before training and after training the data in this case these values which I am showing score are interval data scale data but they are not normally distributed and I want to know is there any difference between before training to after training I have formulated a null hypothesis the null hypothesis is that the median difference between pair of observations is zero or I can say the same thing in a different way there is no difference between before training score and after training score of employees to accept or reject the null hypothesis I need to do the process in SPSS after entering the data I am showing the process analysis non parametric test legacy dialog in legacy dialog I have two related samples they are paired to related samples and in this I go for first before training and after training okay before training as variable 1 after training as variable 2 and I have selected Wilcoxon I'm saying okay right now here I have before okay uh, score after training and score before training score after training is 5 number is 5 because after total employees after total employees 5 members score that is score after training is less than score before training 4 employees score after training is greater than score before training 1 employee score after training is equal to score before training right and uh, score after training is uh, mean is 0.4 and the score before training is 5.75 means uh, score before training is more than score after training some of the ranks also say the same thing 22 is after training and 23 is before training now my point to uh, the null hypothesis is whether there is any significant difference is there any difference between score after training to score before training 
right to do this to whether to accept null hypothesis or to reject null hypothesis i need to check significant value this is a case test score we call this is significant value i have here the significant value is 0 0.953 0 0.953 okay if significant value is less than 0 0.05 then reject the null hypothesis else we accept null hypothesis in this case the significant is 0 0.953 which is greater than 0 0.05 so i accept the null hypothesis in the sense there is no difference between before training score and after training score of employees so this is a conclusion there is no difference between before training value score and after training score the null hypothesis is accepted i wish this in this is informative thank you